So this is the... It was the 2nd of May, wasn't it? 2006. Yes. And, right. uh, and you returned to the car, a couple of blokes standing by the car, with a, and there was a broken window. Yes. And your dogs have been stolen out yes. of that car. Yeah. Utterly heartbroken. Dreadful. Absolutely terrible. You, you can't explain how awful that is. And uh, when we phoned the police, they said, oh, we won't come out as it's only dogs. Mm. And you think... So what do you do then? <laughs> I'd have thought that would well, be the first thing you do because you, your car's been broken into, so it's been taken. Yeah, well, goods, the dogs are goods and chattels to start with, so it's sort of like with everything else that's stolen. So it's not registered. Um, it's classed as car theft there. Mm. So you, the figures are very, very hard to get. Well, exactly. you, got, you got very active. Um, uh, Printed off because you, where you live is on the corner of three counties. Yes. You've got two motorways quite nearby, so yes. it's easy to get dogs away. Yes, so we we didn't have a clue. We started in the Camberley area where they were taken, and we just worked our way out. Mm. And for a whole week, that's what we did: stood outside stores, handed out posters. We found Dog Loss very quickly, who was who was still going today, and one of the biggest reunification services. And they advise us to keep quiet about the dogs because obviously with my father we could have yeah. gone straight away with the publicity. But she said don't go too public too quickly because you don't want to make them too hot to handle and they might be killed. Mm. So you, you've got to hope that they, because they were neutered, mm. they wouldn't be used for breeding, that they would be sold on quickly. Well we've got um, a clip of your dad and what he said about the impact that this was having on yourself. Let's have a look. It's been such a shock, you know. They, they, you know, dogs do become a part of your family. I know a lot of people may say they're only a couple of dogs. They are a part of Debbie's family, as our dogs have always been. And, and so it's a terrific shock. It's a wrench. You, you feel numb. You feel helpless because you can't... Well, you feel as though you can't do anything. Well, you, you, that, the fact that you went on the TV uh, meant that, miraculously, um, and they were separately returned, those dogs came back. Oh, you so got nice. them back they and you, this is the moment on. that you were reunited. Ah. Both sold on at uh, livestock markets. Ah. Um, and so, we mentioned at the beginning, oh, look at that, <laughs> that, uh, I'll bet, I'll bet, <laughs> um, that you were uh, on your way to Westminster. What yes. is it that you would like to see now? Well, we need amendments to the law to get changed. We need to have the emotional and traumatic experience caused by the owners taken into consideration. It's not just a second-hand dog that you're looking for. You know, you need deterrence in place. You need vets to be scanning dogs. So if you walk in with my dog to a vet practice, we need it to be scanned in the microchip check. That's what I we assume. assume. That's what happens. Everybody assumes Because why it. are we paying for microchipping? Exactly. Then? Exactly. But they'll tell you it's best practice to scan, but they can't make vet scan. So we need the, the new re regulations for microchipping. We need an amendment to make it compulsory to scan. Otherwise, as you say, what's the point? What is the point? So you don't believe that the law goes far enough? No. It's a half-baked law, the microchipping regulation, and with the Sentencing Council, we need more protection. We need to be the owner of our dogs, and we need to have proper deterrence in place. Otherwise, it carries on. Because the punishment is, is not nearly... I mean, I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear that the last person that got done yes. for dog there theft was... was a fine for £50 pounds last year for, for a, a dog thief, and, and that isn't right. No, that's It's not right. It? The, the punishment has to fit the crime.